Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple woolly booger with a marabou feather, saddle hackle, little dubbing, and size 6 hooks. Well, let's begin. Okay, so how you start is you're going to take the line in your spool, and you're going to wrap it around maybe three times, and then bring the line that is in your hand over so you can wrap the one on the spool around it. And then once you do that, it's pretty, it's binded to itself and it won't come undone. And you'll just wrap it until it's the end of the hook. So it's just hanging down right at the end of that hook. Okay, now you'll be attaching your marabou feather. And just put it to the end and wrap around a few times. So it's pretty secure. And then your saddle hackle you'll be attaching. You don't need the entire feather, so just clip off the end. That's what gives it the real look of a prickly bear. And you'll just be attaching it just like the other way. Just like the Malibu feather. So you're just gonna wrap it around a few times. And now the dubbing. So take a little bit of dubbing. You don't have to have a lot. Just enough to wrap around the string for about six inches. And bring down your line about six inches. So once you have it about six inches, you will just tweeze it, just rub it on there, rub it on the line. And so, now that you have that, just wrap it around just like any other line until it looks fuzzy. It might come off a little bit, just attach it back on, keep wrapping. Once you get to the end, just secure it by wrapping around eh, four times. Once you do that, you will then attach your saddle hackle. So it gets the real prickly look as it does. So you'll take the end and just by hand wrap it around. You might have to tease it a little bit to get the actual prickles out. Once you get to the point that you want to stop then you just end it by wrap it around a few times right before the eye. And then you can clip off that extra. And then to end it, I do not have a whip finish tool because it is currently broken. Just make a loop with your finger wrap it around your finger a few times and then just put it right over behind the eye of the hook and pull it down and do that about three four times once you do that you can clip off your line pull down the little bit of saddle hackle that might be annoying you if there's a little bald spot, take and it And you can trim the saddle hackle to the point that looks normal, not massive. So the fish won't get scared of it. Once you trim your saddle hackle to about half an inch, Thanks guys for watching my video, subscribe and fish on.